everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne from the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and today we are going to be doing something a, a little bit different. It is 8 o'clock in the evening on Sunday the 25th of April and we have just got back from two days at our first event of 2021. It has been a hectic and tiring and cold at times two days out selling at the South of England Spring Fair in Ardingly. So I thought for today's video we would string together some footage of the run up to the fair, uh, a little bit about what we did to prepare for the fair, travelling down to the fair, selling at the fair and we're just going to kind of string all of that together and show you, you know, that kind of the behind the scenes of preparing for the fair, selling at the fair and being there selling. That's today's video. Hope that made sense. Very tired, so if it doesn't make sense, that's my excuse. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Um, we're starting with... I don't know where we're starting. We're starting with the preparation back on Thursday or Friday or something. Enjoy it. <laughs> So we've been working towards being ready for this show all week. We have got our foaming sugar scrubs all made and jarred now and we have got our fragrance oil soaps all wrapped up and ready to go. The bath bombs still need some work, they are partly wrapped, some are completely nude still and some just need to be labelled and then shrink wrapped on the outside. They are currently taking over our kitchen table. We have got all the different scents in different boxes. And down here we have got the labels that I have made to go around the outside of them so I do still need to attach these which I shall do later. We have got our mini soaps that go in our gift sets, Wayne has been busily wrapping them for most of the morning, that certainly takes a while but he is nearly done now, just a couple left to go which is great and then we can load them into the box ready for taking to the show. So once we've finished working on all of this, we're going to load up our car and then get most of these items driven down to the show. And here we are now. The car is pretty much loaded. We just need to have a little rejig of a couple of things. But uh, yeah, we are pretty much loaded and ready to go now. So it is Friday the 23rd of April, the show is tomorrow but we're actually going to be driving down this afternoon just to set up our pitch because it's kind of nice to get down there a little bit in advance and have everything kind of set up so that we know tomorrow we are good to go. We don't often drive down the day before but this one is relatively close, it's about an hour and ten minutes away so we're going to drive down there, set up the stand, then we are going to come back and finish off the last few bits and pieces such as wrapping some more bath bombs because we won't be taking them down until tomorrow because we don't want to leave them out with the risk of the humidity so it'll be wrapping some more bath bombs and just kind of getting the last few bits and pieces sorted and then it'll be fair day tomorrow so let's get going we'll see you there so we thought it might be nice to film some of the more interesting parts of our journey and we are driving into Battle now which is the location of the very famous Battle of Hastings in 1066 and this petrol station here is actually built on what is believed to be the exact site of that battle between William the Conqueror and King Harold and Arrow in the Eye and all of that so yet yeah, we have put a petrol station on top of it such a British thing to do we are now driving up to Battle Abbey just a couple of minutes away from that petrol station and this is the abbey that William the Conqueror actually had built after he had won at the Battle of Hastings and it is a very beautiful abbey you can go inside it and I have been inside it and over the holidays they do things for the kids as well like archery and things like that so if you're ever down this way it is well worth a visit. Um, Battle itself is a very quintessentially English kind of town village it's a very small kind of town um, it's very beautiful as well the roads are very narrow which is in this modern age a bit of a pain for driving and parking but you know it is what it is it is a very beautiful town and they are kind of very proud of the kind of famous heritage that the town has got as well you can always see little nods to kind of 1066 and the Battle of Hastings and things like that even on their roundabouts where as you can see they do have 
those Saxon soldiers there. And if all that history is a little too much like hard work, then here we are now about 40 minutes away from battle and we are actually driving through the Ashdown Forest now. And if that sounds familiar, it may be because this is the home to Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore. When A.A. A. Milne wrote about the Hundred Acre Wood, this is what he was basing it on. So this is the Ashdown Forest in Sussex and it is the inspiration and the home to Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends. So we are really lucky to have such beautiful areas of forest and woodland so close to our home. Now, much closer down to our destination and being in the countryside, we are being held up by this magnificent fellow here. He is certainly not wanting to hurry out of the way. Being in the countryside, you do get this from time to time and we just thought we would wait for him, observe him and just kind of like, you know, hang back behind him, let him, let him lead the way. <laughs> I promise I didn't run him over. <laughs> we are now in Ardingly, which is our destination. We are just driving up to the showground entrance. It's taken about an hour and 15 minutes. We've got a beautiful day for setup, so we're gonna turn in now, and then we are going to head to our pitch once we found out where it is. So here we are, we have arrived, and this is gonna be our home for the next three days. Now we are going to get our stall set up. It will be busier. So we are all done now. We've got our table set up. Um, the stock is there and ready to go. So we are going to go home now, wrap some bath bombs and then try and get a good night's sleep because we're going to be up super early tomorrow to come back here and hopefully sell lots of things. So back home now, it is Friday night and we are just finishing off the last few bits and pieces that need doing for tomorrow. So in this case, it is packaging those last few bath bombs in our shrink wrap, which again is the national shrink wrap system that we use. Uh, this is gonna take me a little while because it is all still new to me. So it is taking me longer than it probably will do in a few months. But the plus side is that it's still at that stage where it feels exciting. So I'm not too bothered about the time Time it's taking because I'm having fun while I'm doing it. I'm just going to label up these bath bombs now, the labels that I've created, just using my own printer and printing onto card. And then after we have attached all of the labels, we are going to shrink wrap them again because we are double wrapping them purely because we tested single wrapping and we did get a few holes. So I don't know if that's user error or just because the biolefin's quite thin but we thought double wrapping works quite nicely so that is probably how we are going to do things and then we are going to blow dry them to shrink them and then we will be done for the evening we're going to sit down and chill and then we are going to have a nice early night already for getting up ridiculously early tomorrow morning <laughs> So it is about 6.30 in the morning now. I've been up since just before six and we are just about ready to leave for the show. I am so excited about this one. Not only is it the first show back of the year, a lot later than usual. Usually they start around February, but obviously uh, the way the world's been, they are not starting up until yeah end of April. Um, and also we have got all the new products, so the bath bombs and the sugar scrubs and things like that. So I am really excited to see how today goes. So uh, I'll see you at the show. So we are here, we are all set up, we are ready to sell and we are hoping that we're going to have a good day, but only time will tell. I will update at some point during the day if I get a chance, otherwise I will update at the end of the evening. Wish us luck.
So it is day two of the show. It is about 8.30 and it is very cold, hence the warm stuff. It is all bright, hence the sunglasses. Um, I didn't update yesterday because, to be honest, I forgot. So what I'm going to do now is take you on a little walk around the show to show you what it's about. Um, and I'm also going to update you as to how we did yesterday and how we got on. Enjoy the show! So I do believe in honesty and I'm going to start by saying that yesterday the show wasn't as good as we had been hoping for. It wasn't terrible, you know, we still did alright and we still managed to get into the profit zone, which is good, but it just wasn't quite what we were hoping for and I think part of the reason is that yesterday it was lovely and warm and it was beautiful outside, beautiful sunshine and we are inside in a barn and we weren't getting a huge number of people coming through and I think that that is possibly because everyone wanted to be outside in the sunshine. So it's a little cooler today, it is more overcast and it is windy, so hopefully we'll do a little bit better. I'm going to break my spiel there to say this is my favourite area of the show, the food area where there are lots of delicious things on offer. Mm, yeah, I had some of those uh, fries from the cheese on toast place, they were delicious. And yeah, gotta get the ice cream and the fish and chip bands and everything in shop for you guys as well. I say I love my food, so I always gravitate towards the food areas at things like this. Um, anyway, going back to how we did. Yeah, we did all right, but we are hoping for a better day today. That is for sure. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd take you on a walk around of the fair as well. Yeah, come with me as I am saying here. This is the fairground part, which is going to be probably full to the brim with kids later on. I am filming early in the morning because I didn't want to get children in my video and there's no way I could film when the show was open and avoid getting kids in the video. So that is why I filmed early in the morning when stuff is still shut, just so, you know, we can have a bit more space and we can show you what it's about without actually getting other people's children in our filming which they may not be happy with. Here we have Colin, or is it Cuthbert? I do not know. Let's just hope he doesn't get a lawsuit slapped on him. And moving along to the goats. This is obviously an agricultural show so there are lots of lovely animals. These two little guys here, or girls, being some of them. We are just walking back to our stand now because it's about 10 minutes till opening but I will give you an update uh, about halfway through the day and I will take you around the food court as well where they sell the food that you can buy to take home because that is another of my favourite places so I will show you that too. Yeah, but for now we are going to jump behind that stall and hopefully get selling. So obviously this footage of the food court was taken at the start of the day when people were setting up again for the reasons that I have mentioned. But I'm going to give you an update on roughly halfway through our Sunday day of trading. It started off slow, um, it always does, it always starts off slow, it's a Sunday, no one wants to be getting up early on a Sunday, but it is showing promise and it is much better than it yesterday. I don't know if that is because it is cooler so people are coming inside or if it is just how things work. I mean we've done shows three or four times here at the South of England show and historically we always do better on a Sunday anyway so it may just be that we do better on Sundays. But yeah I am happy we are about halfway through the day and I am very happy so far with how things are going. The new products are going well, the bath bombs especially are going really well and people seem to be you know really positive. We're getting some lovely feedback and we are making sales so it is all good. I'm going to leave you guys now to enjoy the rest of the food court. Wayne is doing the filming. He likes cheese, so there will be lots of gratuitous cheese shots. <laughs> As you can see, I am inspecting the brownies. So I guess I will catch up with you guys at the end of the day now when the show is done and I will let you know how we got on for the rest of Sunday and my overall view of the fair. I will just leave you now with some delicious delicious sausage, I have had sausages from this company and they are delicious, and the cider tent where if I ever lose Wayne this is most likely where I will find him. And I'm going to catch up with you guys at the end of the day.
So we are back from the fair now and I have plonked myself down on the sofa where I intend to stay for pretty much the rest of the evening because I am pretty tired now. Um, the rest of today actually went really well. It was a lot better than yesterday, which is good because yesterday was all right, but it wasn't great. But today was actually really good and definitely worth doing. We sold over half of the bath bombs that we had made and taken with us. So that's really good considering that they are a new product for us. We are really happy with that. Um, and we sold out of a couple of the soaps that we do. So that was good too. Um, I can't remember what else I wanted to say to you guys. There was something, but I cannot for the life of me think what it was. Uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A fairly soon. So if you guys have got just any questions about anything to do with any aspect of our business or our soap making, drop those questions in the comments box because we want to be able to have some questions that we can answer in our Q&A because that's the whole point of a q and A. I'm babbling now because I'm tired. Um, if you enjoy our content, please do subscribe to our channel, give us a like, leave a comment. Um, today's video is obviously a little bit different to usual. We may do a couple more of these fair videos in the future now that fair season is underway, but obviously our channel will predominantly be the making and stuff like that. Um, but we will take you out and about over the coming months just for a little bit of fun now and again. Um, so you'll have that to look forward to as well. Um, have a lovely week everybody and we shall be back on Friday with another video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.